evening, I'm Jackie Spate. The Fiji police force has today admitted it doesn't have the appropriate skills to deal with children during criminal offences. A five-day workshop is underway in Suva on how to deal with juveniles, which the force hopes will better skill their officers. Epelitokuwasa reports. Police officers are now being trained with special skills in dealing with children when they commit offences or are witness to a criminal case or for the victims. Officers in the past were only trained on dealing with adults and there is very little skills in dealing with youngsters. A five-day workshop is currently underway to train officers to better deal with juvenile cases. So when a child walks into a police station, again as I said, a victim, a witness or an offender, the police, police officers must have the right skills in dealing with these children. The juvenile program started back in 1997, but no formal training has been provided, and the police admitted there is a shortage of such skills in our force. Police do not have the appropriate skills in dealing with those um, issues, in dealing with children. Okay, what uh, we are trained in the academy to do is just to, uh, in, uh, we are trained with uh, communication, communication skills, but those communication skills are for adults only. And Inspector Tukana says this is a huge challenge and other stakeholders need to get involved. We have seen that, um, that uh, the breakdown in the family structure. This is some of the things that um, we have noted over the years that, that are contributing factors to, to, to children uh, committing crimes. Um, what we are attempting to do right now is to work with, uh, with, uh, the, with the family. When I talk about family, this is not only the nuclear family that we have, we work, we work with, uh, with extended families. After the workshop, there is hope that officers will get the right skills to safeguard the children. Epeli Tuguasa, FBC News. The whereabouts of one of the suspects in the alleged theft of close to $100,000 of landowners' money from the TLTB is unknown. He is said to have fled overseas. Direct Immigration Nemani Vuniwanga has not ruled out the possibility of the suspect bypassing their radar. However, Vuniwanga says their system does not show that the suspect has slipped through border securities at our international airports. Two TLTB staff have already been sacked and five others suspended over the theft. Bank officers are also suspected of being involved in the racket. The cases have been referred to police and FICAC. The Generalized System of Preferences Subcommittee has invited both the Fiji government and the American Federation of Labor and Congress to submit post-hearing written submissions within three weeks. In a Washington hearing today regarding Fiji's duty-free access to U.S. markets, the committee asked both parties to correct inaccurate and incomplete information. Dev Narayan with the details. GSP committee met to hear views on a petition filed by AFL-CIO to remove Fiji from list of eligible beneficiaries. Fiji's acting solicitor general Sharvada Sharma updated the members of GSPSC about the constitutional processes which have been implemented by the Fijian government. He says this involves an inclusive nationwide dialogue process by an independent constitutional commission. The GSPSC was also informed that with the lifting of the public emergency regulations PER in January this year, Fiji is now operating under the amended Public Order Act. Sharma also informed the GSPSC of the recent vehicles related reforms which includes the implementation of substantial income tax reduction for workers, a national employment center, a soon-to-be-established national minimum wage rate for Fijian workers, and a no-fault compensation scheme for injury at work. In terms of the essential national industries employment decree, the GSPSC was told that the intention of the decree is to ensure the viability of specific industries that are vital to the Fijian economy and GDP. It further on says the decree is designed to protect jobs and it does not destroy the trade union movement in Fiji. It was also stressed under this decree, workers continue to have fundamental rights, including the right to organize from unions, independently vote for representatives and collective bargaining. The Fijian government says if GSP were lost, 15,000 workers will be laid off and it will adversely affect 75,000 Fijians. Dev Narayan, FBC News.
19-year-old Maris Brothers High School student Wangavode Tumbuka appeared in the Silver Magistrate's Court today. Wangavode faces charges of serious assault, which resulted in some of the Suva Grammar School students being injured. He went before Magistrate Janaka Bandara in his school uniform and was accompanied by immediate family members. No plea was taken. Tumbuka has been granted bail to reappear in court on the 17th. He was represented by a legal aid lawyer.